Hi, this is Anthony, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to automatically forward your emails from one Gmail account to another. So first, let me give you a quick example so you better understand what we're doing here. Let's say I've got three Gmail accounts or email addresses, as you see, and I want to automatically forward my emails to this one Gmail account, instead of having to log into three Gmail accounts and check my emails. Now, to do so, log into your Gmail account to which you want email forwarded from, in this example, we're going to forward email from Gmail account number 2 to Gmail account number 1. So I will log into my Gmail account number 2 and then click on this gear icon in the top right and choose Settings. You will then be brought to the Settings page and right on top you're going to see various tabs. Click on the tab that says Forwarding and pop slash IMAP tab. And then click on this button that says Add a Forwarding Address. In this pop-up dialog box, just enter the email address to which you want email forwarded to. In this example, it is Gmail account number 1. And then click Next. You will then see this dialog box in the top left corner of your screen. Just click this Proceed button. You will then see the confirmation that the verification code has been emailed to you. Click OK. You can either enter the confirmation code into this box here, or just log into your email to which you want email forwarded to. In this example, Gmail number one. And then open that email you received. And then click on the link and click the confirm button on this page. You'll then receive a confirmation if your email forwarding was successful. Now if you go back to your Gmail account number two, you will notice that this section has changed. And this is also where you can disable email forwarding. In this box right here, you'll find various options in terms of deleting and archiving your emails. You can then follow the same process for any other Gmail accounts that you want emails forwarded from. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.